Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and the following ACT literary narrative passage question is asking us about the perception of um, an item described here in the narrative uh, from the author. Well, every time you're presented with something like this, you have to take the entire narrative into account. And again, uh, for these, there's going to be no thesis, even when it's presented to you in essay format as a narrative. We have nothing besides the actual text, so you have to read all of it. If you haven't done that, stop this video and take the time to do it now. If you have, let's consider the answer choices here. Um, definitely this is a room that um, has some sort of spookiness to it. I mean, somebody died there, um, and when she sees her own reflection in a mirror as she walks you know, back and forth trying to get into it, she thinks of herself and her own place in the world. She calls herself... Um, you know, a, a spirit. She's like a phantom when she's thinking of this room and then thinking of herself. So is she admiring of the room? Probably not. This would imply that there's something positive with the room. There's negative things. She thinks of negative things that occur to her when she's considering the room. Like the fact that everybody else, she, like, you know, every, every other female that she can think of is treated very well by everybody, except for her, because she feels that she's not attractive enough, maybe. Um, she doesn't look like the others. She looks a little bit like a phantom. So that thought wouldn't come from thinking of a room that you find admiring. There's something negative there that's too positive. As choice B here says grim. Grim has a very negative connotation. Um, in fact, the only thing we could think of here when we, when we read grim is something, you know, morbid, something like something really, really sad, something that has to do with death happening. And it is really sad how her life is... Uh, you know, turning out compared to other people, at least in her view of things. Um, and then her th thought of death when she goes there because somebody else used to live there who's now dead. Um, you know, the room is kept lonely in memory of him. Definitely grim. This looks like a good answer. Let's see if we find something better. Mr. C says glamorous. Well, totally not glamorous. I mean, sure, we keep jewels in there. Um, or at least uh, a relative of hers does. But Mr. Reed used to live there. He's dead now. Nobody walks in there. <clears throat> and it's definitely not glamorous. It accumulates dust um, every single week. Nobody does anything there you know, that's special except for the maid coming in and cleaning. So, no. Dismissive. Well, the room can't be dismissive in that it is an inanimate object. Rooms don't... Um, well, actually, James' perception of the room could be dismissive. There we go. She does not dismiss the room, however. She dwells on it a lot uh, and draws connections about herself. She thinks of herself and her reflection and how people treat her shortly after she starts considering this chill room, right? Um, very, very negative, nothing too uh, glamorous or, you know, she doesn't admire the room. Um, so that makes Grim here the best answer to this. I hope that helps with this problem and happy prepping.